Well, this week right now marks one year since the United States' chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan. And our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, says while Afghan refugees are assimilating into America, some Republican lawmakers are still right now demanding answers from the president. Emma? Alicia, Republican members of the Foreign Affairs Minority Committee released a 115-page report titled A Strategic Failure, Assessing the Administration's Afghanistan Withdrawal. Now, the report alleges the president misled the American people about the consequences of a withdrawal and then also didn't properly prepare for it. Take a listen to what I found out today. This comes exactly one year after the last troops left Afghanistan in a chaotic situation resulting in 13 American soldiers and hundreds of Afghans seeking refuge being killed. Nasreen Nishad, a medical Afghan interpreter and refugee advocate, said many of the Afghan refugees who came to Charlotte still have loved ones stranded in the Taliban-controlled country. She says if they find out, if they find me and they know who I am, either they will force her, force her to marry one of them or they're going to kill her. So yeah, there are a lot of people who are still out in Afghanistan and they are hiding. But around 74,000 Afghan refugees were successfully evacuated from the country, which is now back under complete control of the Taliban. Many of the refugees had risked their lives helping U.S. military and because of that received asylum in the United States. Nazreen says they're extremely grateful to be here. People came from different walks of life, you know, very highly educated and some who has never seen, you know, running water. They were living in a tent all of their lives. So it was a mixed feelings. Um, a lot of them were very happy, a lot were very nervous, they were kind of lost. Um, so yeah, we were all in a shock and at the same time I was happy for a lot of people who had the opportunity to come here and you know, especially for their children to have a better life. But for those who weren't able to get on one of the evacuation flights and leave Afghanistan, Nazreen says most of their lives have drastically changed for the worst. The women, they cannot go to school. So it's more force on the small cities than mostly in Kabul. South Carolina Republican Congressman Joe Wilson, who sits on the Foreign Affairs Committee, sent us a statement saying in part, as we near the end of Biden's ill-advised and deadly withdrawal from Afghanistan, we still don't know how this was allowed to take place, and it's long past time for a thorough investigation into what exactly happened. The American people deserve answers, particularly the families of the 13 U.S. service members who were killed at the Kabul airport, that many others were wounded that day, and the Americans who were left behind, end quote. Now, the Biden administration also released a memo saying the Republicans investigation was a partisan report riddled with false claims.